My present involvement as a patient volunteer is I have Parkinson's disease. I'm built of flesh and blood and mind and muscle. So I'm, I'm a real human being. I'm not a computer mock-up. I'm not, I'm not a, a textbook. I'm a real flesh and blood. And for the young doctors to, to deal with that is obviously a great benefit to them. Oh, to students, it is invaluable. It's the only way to learn, isn't it? You can't learn this thing from a book. You have to have a real patient, so, yeah, it's invaluable. It's really beneficial having real patients. It sort of brings the textbook to life. Patient volunteers are patients with long-term medical conditions who have physical evidence of disease, who are happy to be physically examined, either to teach the skill um, or to assess the skill in a formal assessment. So long-standing conditions like a heart murmur, respiratory condition, neurological problems. Okay, so we'll do physical exams on, on the patients, which involves us testing arms, limbs, it might be vision. So there's about five to eight students in a teaching group, um, and then we have tutors alongside. So, it, it, you know, the small numbers, so it means that um, we, we, all get to see, we all get to see the signs and the reason that, that the real patients are there. I would strongly recommend the role to others. I think it's good for me, to, and we were very well treated, we're collected, we're fed, People treat us very well when we're here. They're very appreciative. I get a lot out of it for that person. It's a day out, but equally, I think we're doing something to help the, the, the new medical profession. I really enjoy it. And they bring such a smile to my face. They're lovely. They, they like his own grandkids. And it's so nice to see them, the young smiling faces, starting out on their career. Teaching takes place at the Clinical Education Centre on the Royal Stoke Hospital site, um, sometimes up at the Keele Medical School site on Keele campus and also at the Royal Shrewsbury Hospital. So for our patient volunteers we provide return taxi journeys from their home to the teaching venue and then back again afterwards. Um, also tea, coffee and biscuits and on assessment days also a lunch at the beginning or end of the session. So not, it's not scary, it's not difficult and if you don't want to keep doing it you don't have to. Oh, I think it's uh, really important that other people come and do this. You've got to do it, to be honest, actually. This is the only way that these young guys, our future physicians, are going to get the experience to come and look after us, our families, the next generation, you know, in the years to come. So.